And welcome to episode 829. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you would like to donate to the show, we appreciate it. You can do so by Cash App at Dollar Sign Motorcycle Madhouse. Today, we're going to get into the Texas Gang Database. Are you on it? Are you in a club in Texas where if you're hanging around by one of the 1% clubs, you're swooped up with your license plates and you're thrown on it? It is a huge debate within the motorcycle club community if this is right or it's wrong. Of course, you got a lot of the Leo clubs out there that say, hey, if you ain't doing nothing wrong, don't worry about it. We all know that is bull crap. Bull crap. Big time. There was that incident where the bandito, that guy was riding to school, had a legal CCW permit, and they pulled him over, and it went through court the whole nine yards because of that gang database. It's like Texas uses that crap just to piss on your constitutional rights. The reason why I wanted to talk about this is because it is, is, I believe, a violation of your 14th Amendment right, not to mention your 4th Amendment. It is just craziness that this is happening down in Texas. Found a couple of articles that you might find interesting here as I go through. And this right here was inclusion in the gang database, the Texas gang membership database. It limits gun rights, might violate due process. You got that right. The Second Amendment seems like it's the only right that we have that we are always fighting for. It's in the Constitution. It's number two. And there's a reason why there's number two. To protect number one. Your right to free speech and association. Texas is taking this away. You pull up to a party, they pull your license, next thing you know, an officer, without a court order, can put you on this database. It's something that I find completely unacceptable. Now, this was the Opaka Fisk Allen case, and it was decided by Judge David, uh, let's see here, WD, I ain't gonna even go that stuff. <laughs> Now, the plaintiff, listen to this. The plaintiff, he was a former Army Command Sergeant Major who served our country in eight combat deployments and has been recognized with numerous combat and service awards, including the Legion of Merit, two awards, Purple Heart, and five awards of the Bronze Star for Valure. He's now retired and living in Los, uh, what is it, Las Cruz, New Mexico, and his wife, a school teacher with whom he had his four children. Now, he was a member of a motorcycle club called the Squad Veterans Riders Motorcycle Club. He's a president. And the Squad Veteran Riders Motorcycle Club is a motorcycle club that is involved in the community, charitable, and political activities. All of its members are military vets. He is also on the board of the National Council of Clubs and Chair for Southern New Mexico. The plaintiff alleges the defendants improperly included him into Texas law enforcement statewide gang database. Here's a war hero. Rides with the military club. And they included him in this database. The Texas gang database is a statewide repository of records related to criminal street gangs and gang members. Then it goes into the criminal procedure, all that sets forth the criteria that law enforcement uses, 
who can be classified as a criminal street gang member in the database. Now, one, a court judgment exists which the court found that the individual committed a crime as a member of a criminal street gang. An admission in judicial uh, proceedings exists in which the person admits to be a criminal street gang member or law enforcement observes the two following. This is how they can put you in. Self-admission by the individual criminal street gang membership that is made during the judicial proceeding, including use of the internet or other electronic format. Be careful, man. Be careful putting that stuff on the internet. In your colors, all that stuff. Because these suckers will swoop you up and put you on the gang database. Identification of an individual. Cooperated identification evidence that the individuals frequent a document area of a criminal street gang. That could mean clubhouse, people. Clubhouse. And it goes on and on and on. Now... On the information and belief, plaintiff alleges that the EPPD included him in the Texas gang database on or around August of 2017, plaintiff attended another motorcyclist funeral. Law enforcement heavily surveilled the funeral and took almost 4,000 photographs of the funeral's attendees and motorcycles. Despite the fact that the Catholic Church and Cemetery are not areas of the criminal street gang, they call it. After the hearing, the other motorcyclists that attended the funeral had been included in this Texas gang database. The cops are skirting the rules, as it always is. It always happens. This is what they're doing. And this is a good thing. The court concludes that the plaintiff has properly alleged an injury in his stigma plus claim under the 14th Amendment's due process clause, damage to the individual's reputation as a result of defamatory statements made by a state actor accompanied by infringement or of some other interest. So he won this case. But see how they can throw you on right away from pictures on the internet to a funeral? Unbelievable. One thing that upsets me is this thing right here. This right here is the Texas Gang Investigation Association investigators. Look what they have listed as Public Safety Motorcycle Club. And you'll probably guess... Blue Knights International, City Heat, Defenders Motorcycle Club, Iron Warriors, Renegade Pigs, Wild Pigs. All cop clubs. All Leos. Those are public safety motorcycle clubs. Now, the other motorcycle clubs, oh wow! Outlaw Biker Gangs. Of course, the Banditos Chosen Few are on there. Uh, Hell's Angels, Hessians, Moggles, uh, Outlaw Biker World. Oh, man, they even got you on there, man. Bikernews.net. Uh, thankfully, we're not on there. I'm surprised. <laughs> well, this is an old site. Damn, man. They're even freaking putting Biker News sites on here. Unbelievable, man. But, hey, they're buddies they're going to protect. Now, this is a recent one, and it talks more about that case. It was updated on September 6th. Austin, 25-year U.S. veteran from New Mexico with new criminal, no criminal history, testified at a 2021 state legislative hearing that he'd been wrongfully placed in the Texas Gang Intelligent Database, making it difficult for him to access an El Paso Veterans Hospital and lawfully carry a handgun in the state. 
not only do they throw you on this thing, but your gun rights, man, they can hit you. Another man also speaking to the House Homeland Security and Public Safety Committee said he was a professor with no criminal history yet classified as a gang member in Texas. He didn't know he was in the database until he was detained by Mexican authorities. He was denied entry. Those men were among several motorcycle club members who testified in favor of a bill authored by state rep Mary Gonzalez, the bikers, who said they were not part of a criminal gang, alleged Texas gang database violated their constitutional rights. Boy, do they got that right. A tw <laughs> what a 25-year U.S. Army vet. Metals up the wing-wing. And they're going to go and do that to him? They don't even care that he's a vet. Gonzalez's legislation was intended to reform the system by adding rules that would require notifying people put, it on, put in on it and provide a method for getting removed. Now, a state auditor's office conducted the probe and released its findings in August. The audit identified more than 5,000 records that were uploaded without the required information and over 1,000 that weren't validated within the last five years. Talking about flawed. They don't care. Cops are just throwing this on. They're throwing it on. Hopefully this legislation passes so people will be notified, one, that they were put on this, and two, that they have a way off of this damn thing. Texas is the epicenter of everything that's happening, I believe, with the profiling issues. It's just craziness. And until bikers like come together and fight this kind of stuff, call this representative, supporter, See if you can get co-sponsors of this bill. Get it passed. People need to get involved. This guy lived in New Mexico, but was put on a Texas gang database. And his Second Amendment was trashed, walked on. We can't allow this anymore. We can't allow law enforcement to keep doing this to us. We are going to have to start pushing back at some point. You might be saying, oh, you know, I have nothing to do with that kind of stuff. I don't care. Well, you need to. Because all you have to do is be seen with somebody that they consider a gang and your ass is on there. It can affect your job, your gun rights, everything. So, yeah, it can affect you. And that's why you should get involved. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I can't believe in 2022 we're still going through all this stuff where law enforcement can have a heart on for you after all the crap that they've pulled the last couple years and still put you in a shitty situation. That's what I got to say on that, man. Again, if you want to donate, you can through Cash App, Dollar Sign, Motorcycle, Madhouse. I know a lot of you guys ask about that because you don't like going through YouTube and stuff. Second half of the show with China Dow is coming up right now after the music break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 